Dude, literally everything is different except for innovators. Did they keep any? Wait, they kept Seraphine. Oh, yeah. My queen. Yeah. yeah. We are very disappointed. Literally, innovators are the exact same thing, and then they just remove Heimer for Echo. Echo is now like a try thing. Dude, Cassidy yeah. went to college. Yeah. He's a scholar now. And a scholar of magic. Hey, did you know a large percentage of viewers are not actually subscribed to the channel? Please, if you enjoyed watching, consider subscribing to help me support my girlfriend's crippling boba addiction. If you are watching this, odds are I am pooping, eating, or browsing Reddit off camera. If you could just go ahead and smash that like button, leave an essay in the comments, and subscribe to my channel, that'd be pog as heck. But I wouldn't really see it because, well, I'm pooping, eating, or browsing Reddit, but it'd help us expand further, and I would love you even more. Box Box, Radiant was the play. You needed a damage item and you need to shut the up. If the reason why we didn't take the radiant item was obvious, please go watch a different stream. We took the, we didn't take the radiant item because we take a guaranteed 45% attack speed boost on our entire back line. And then we take a bow off carousel to most likely hit a single damage item. Like this Raven literally just needs one damage item. With back foot's attack speed and clockwork, all I need was one damage item. I didn't hit, but like in, in nine out of 10 situations, I would have a playable item there. Yes, we gigolo rolled it. And yes, if I saw that I was going to get zero damage items, I, if I saw that I was going to get three components and none of them were any of the four components that were playable, which is an insanely low roll, by the way, that is less than a one in eight chance of happening, uh, then yes, I would go back in time and take Radiant Relics. But you would be an absolute idiot to do it in the moment. When you compare it to like the absolute value that Backfoot 3 gives you there, it's actually crazy. <sighs> Hello, Backfoot, my old friend. True explorers follow the compass in their heart. Possible comebacks are sort of my specialty. Need a Lowie. It's roll for a Lowy time. Here we go. Oh. Alright, we lost. Give me a Lowy. Please farm me one gold gang point. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna give up on. Uh, I'm gonna give up on Mercs. I think it's too late. Hold up. Who do we have here? Nice timing, Alawi. It's fine. We're probably playing for win trick anyway here.
Oh, two tornado. Do you want to play this? Do you want to play Mercs this late into the game? Hmm. Yeah, I'm down. This is so sad. Imagine rolling for an Alawi, not hitting it, selling, and then hitting the Alawi the next round. It's too late to get a good Merc cash out. We'll fight for like five gold and then move on. Okay, there's a two out of three chance that I got my ass kicked here. There's a one out of three chance that this game is over. If we hit the, um, the weakest player, we're gonna win and we're gonna lose the game. the game. I didn't think I was going to beat that guy. Give up on Mercs. Go play Gangplank Carry. Oh, this is so bad. I got unplayably bad items. Oh god. I can't resolve this gangplank unless I hurricane him. Once I combine these gangplanks, he's gonna have a ZZ rot. I can make a hurricane, but it's so bad on him. I thought about making a Titans, then but then I have two cloaks left over. Oh it's so bad. What about laser gangplank? I thought of that too, but then you have a laser gangplank with a belt. No matter how you spin it, it's like pretty bad. If I had a Warmog's BT, it'd be pretty decent. Okay, I need to roll here for one gangplank. Just quit the game now, it's already over. I just rolled to zero, hit nothing, got a million pairs, lost all my econ, and then lost. Alright, Albert, think. 
what possible pivots exist. Do I need recombobulator? Mm. I don't think it changes anything. Yeah, I guess we may as well try. Let's put a bunch of three costs on our board. And then let's go ahead and recombobulate. Do I see any direction with this? Metal is harder than flesh. Uh, Irelia. Irelia is playable. If I can get that Vi. Oh, I kinda wish I kept that. Kinda wish I kept that pair of uh joints. here. We're playing Zyra here. We're not playing Renata. 100%. Time for the main event. Interesting. Something Very interesting. I think it's actually playable this game. I already have Oriana, Brom, Zyra. Don't do it! Why wouldn't I do it? It's actually good here. I mean, don't get me wrong, this game's already fucked. But if there was a way for me to wiggle my way back in, something insane like a VIP Draven with very good items is how it would be done. Right? And we don't have to play it. You can just hold it at the cost of one Econ. See what you hit between Irelia and Draven, and then play that. It's definitely worth holding. Oh wait, keep this in for scrap. Okay, I'm not gonna bother buying the other Talon. Hmm. I need money. Okay, let's hope for a rod or a sword here. Oh wow. Oh wow. Wait, just like that, the game is actually like super winnable now. It's Draven time! Wow, holy shit. Oh, I should I should have leveled. I, I could afford it.
Uh, I need Camille Morgana. Okay, we are 100% sacking a few rounds. Sacking two more rounds after this. Uh, level up to eight, and then roll down. I just need to hit one Draven to win the game. And hit a Camille. Mm, what's the best thing I can put in here? Is it really Scholar? That doesn't feel correct. What about Trinomir? Uh, let's see. Trinomir would give... 25% attack speed, maybe 50. Yeah, it's probably better than Gnar, actually. Alright, here we go. We're gonna have, like, 25 gold to roll. We need to hit one Morgana, one Camille. And, like, two Dravens. I'm gonna position like this because I'm scared of uh what's going Why is my Draven doing zero damage to this effect? Wait, why is he actually doing zero damage? Oh, it's so small. Wait, she must have just dodged like a billion hits then. That was like 70% dodge chance. Cause I was like, each hit should take a noticeable chunk off of her health bar and then it did not. Oh, I main Ben. Thanks for 13 months. All right. Let's do the roll down. I am not contested at all. We should be able to hit a lot. So I need Morgana, Camille, and then my current units. Uh, it's not bad. We, we got the Draven. I could Nico this bomb right now. Might be worth it. Might save some HP. Mm, I'm more likely to hit my final comp if I don't Nico. I'm more likely to save HP if I do Nico. Uh, I think this Draven's good enough. I don't think we need to Nico the bomb. All right. Give me a really good augment here. Something, oh my god, imagine very VIP. If it's very VIP, it's first place. Uh, I kind of want lifesteal or more durability. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what I want. You, um, okay, it's 100% Verdant Veil. Vale. Yeah. Now I can, now I can safely corner lit. Okay. Uh, I'm just roll for it. Can I hit one bomb right here? Or Camille? No. Oh, Camille. Oh, we did it. The Craigasm synergies. Okay, I don't think I need to Nico the bomb. There's literally all one stars besides Zyra and Draven. Oh fuck yeah, the synergy is so hot. 
Not to mention Verdant Veil. I can't believe we pivoted Recombobulator into this. The game was over, and then we hit random level 6 VIP Draven, build the board, game's over. I can't think of much that would beat this. Other than just like someone having overwhelming value to the point where I can't kill. But I, I don't imagine this Draven... This Draven's like twice as powerful as my last game's Draven. Because we actually hit items. And I have two item movers. I can just slam whatever I want on him and then item move later. A BT, game's over. Yeah, one BT, game's over. All right. I have to hit two Camilles, two Orianas, two Syndras, one Morgana, one Leona, one Braum. It's a pretty big shopping list, but the bigger the list, the more likely you are to hit. I will definitely hit a few of these upgrades. And for items, if I hit Sword Cloak, I will literally pog my pants off. If I hit Tear Glove, I would pog pretty hard. Oh. Oh. Okay, wait. I know what you guys are thinking. Box box. Surely you're gonna sell Camille an upgrade. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. Okay, I was actually thinking of holding it. I was thinking, like, I'm probably gonna win anyway, but... Okay, I highly doubt a fight will ever be a Camille 2 diff. But it's very likely that a fight might be Braum 2 diff. Okay, I've almost finished my shopping list. I think if I hit one Ori, I'm down to just slam my Nikos on it and call it a day. Okay, I'm gonna roll here just to make see what I hit, and then we'll Nico. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's Nico the Ori. We Nico the Ori because she's the last high value upgrade left. Leona and Syndra are just whatever. They'll come eventually. Alright, now let's think to ourselves. What could beat us here? Honestly? Not much. No one's playing Assassins. No one's playing Assassins, so we just frontline everything. And then nothing really beats our uh, synergies. I'm pretty sure I have like overwhelming damage. Like... I would have preferred a BT, yes, but Hodge is literally the second best item that we could have gotten here. Because now Draven will always be able to, as long as he doesn't get literally one shot, he will always lifesteal his way out. This Victor, once he gets two starred, might be a little scary. What about your back foot value? Who cares about back foot? Who cares about back foot on Braum? You think Braum's like, oh man, if only I were punching 20% faster. Backfoot only matters on um, the people in the back. <laughs> Ooh -wee. Okay, I'm literally gonna grief the victor so that if I was gonna lose, it's gonna be to a two-star victor. So I'm literally just gonna grief this victor. Dude, this Draven comp is actually so nutty. Is this comp was like found really early on into the PBE, and it's just like a craigasm of perfect synergies. Like when you see all this resolve once you put in the, the last unit, it's so, it feels so good. There should be nothing. I can't think of a single unit that can survive VIP Draven for like more than three seconds. No one can handle my D for more than three seconds. Okay, so now it's just about creating a front line that lasts longer than theirs. Okay, I will admit that was actually very close. I was actually like two autos off of losing. But the important thing is we didn't lose, so now we still get Econ. Alright, I let's just get a, a front line item. It, uh, anything that increases my durability. We don't need another redemption. I guess it's Frozen Heart. Mm. Yeah. I would rather have blue buff, actually. But I think the five gold actually makes a difference here, because... 
I'm gonna try to go nine. But it, it's another one of those, like, I wanna grief them. I don't want these guys to get Victor, because Victor 2 is gonna be the one thing that beats me. Although, I'm definitely selling this one. Okay, so here's my problem. Here's my problem. Uh, blue buff I actually think was better, but it required a lot of, uh... Yeah, it required losing a lot of econ. Because I could actually, like, no cap, go a uh, 9. Assuming I survived the next three fights. Go 9, just throw in a random Silco, win the game. Or an Enchanter. Oh, yeah, I literally just throw in a Senna, it's still perfect synergy. Uh, but the, and blue buff... It lets my Orianna cast instantly, which is a, it's a pretty big deal. It disrupts the enemy team a lot. But yeah, I can't deny that gold. One trick Draven. I am not a one trick. I'm actually kind of offended that you even suggested that I'm a one trick. Like, yeah, most of my first places are with Draven, but I've got I've got quite a few seventh places with Trindomir. One eighth too. Please respect my diversity. This is actually so insane, by the way. This game was actually so fucked. I would bet from the mo from the moment I lost my streak after rolling at level six for like thirty gold and hitting zero. I would bet if you were to play this game out another 100 times, simulate it, in like 90% of them I would bot 4. It is literally just hitting a miracle 1 in 1000 Draven VIP that allowed us, and we hit it early, that allowed us to win. Oh, it's actually battle, mirror matchup. If there was someone I lose to, it's this guy. So I'm actually curious to see how we do. Oh shit, I actually think I lose. His makeshift armor is too much. Wait, do I lose? Do I lose? I still have a Leona. It's close. Oh, I don't lose. Wolkage. Oh, he's dead. Imagine dying to you, but, but stronger. I'm literally him, but stronger. Okay, I actually thought he was giga strong, so I'm kind of surprised that I won that. Uh, Locket is kind of whatever. At least this guy didn't get a very good item. Chalice is whatever. This guy... Oh, that's pretty good, actually. That's really good for his server. Okay, I need a Senna. One Senna, the game's over. Because then I just socialite my Draven. Oh, Reforger. Oh, sheesh. Okay, I'm gonna forge this Archangel as well. I don't think it's very good. Wait! Okay, Frozen Heart doesn't do anything for me here. Why don't I do this, and then put it here, and then here, and then Reforge? Maybe I get better items. Zeke's! Oh, let's fucking go. Okay, I actually, that was actually so good. That was such a good reforge. I just like doubled my item value. Bramble is so good on this prom because the last two players have um like Sivir carry. Oh, this is close. This is close. It's so close. Oh my god. It actually came down to like a couple autos. Woo! If I didn't reforge, I definitely would have lost that. He said BG. Alright, well, now look at my synergies. What the fuck? He got 30, said BG. Seriously? Who's complaining about a third? You weren't even close to second. That guy literally, like, placed as high as he possibly could have, and he had the, the nerve to say BG. Like, there was just no way he was going to survive five fights to get second. It's like, it's something different if you, like, lost by one auto and you lost, like, five placements. Like, how I got a seventh instead of a fifth by one auto. Oh, I'm way too strong. Oh, wait, am I? He actually almost killed my Draven. Dude, so many fights are, like, down to the wire. Okay, all we can do is just roll for these upgrades. Okay, we're not, we're not hitting Ori 3. Yeah, there's nothing to do. 
Oh, both of us are, have capped out our boards. Oh, actually... Uh... Wait, five twin shots kind of crazy. Oh god, that Jinx looks kind of crazy. Okay, the only thing I'm, I'm worried about is this Jinx coming in and killing me. It's gonna be RNG if my Draven hits him or not. Because Draven needs to finish his current target and then retarget to uh, Jinx. The earlier he retargets, the more likely I am to win. Okay, nice. He retargeted just in time. Alright, he's dead. Pog, I was here, Pog. Oh! Wait, I uh, gotta make sure there's no Zephyr. Ha! The Shroud's coming to me. Alright, I win. This Shroud actually could have made the difference if he got it. These fights are close enough that if he shrouds me, like, I can't really move to avoid it. Also, he can't move to avoid- Oh, sheesh! Alright, Senna, Camille. Aww. Okay. This should be over. The Shroud is like insane value here. Delaying his Jinx by so long is so nice. Because now I can kill his Galio before uh, his, Draven, his Jinx gets to play the game. Now Jinx jumps in and instantly dies. Wow, look how not close that was. God, isn't that so dumb? I said this game was over. I rolled 30 gold at level 6 hit nothing, lost my 5 streak, I said this game is over. And then I recombobulated, got a Draven VIP, and then suddenly the game was unlosable. I feel like I'm playing a slot machine, and I like, I only won because I hit a jackpot.